Hi, welcome back to the workbench. If you enjoy these videos, please uh, subscribe down below and give us a thumbs up. Thanks. I just found a new component on AliExpress I got these from, and it's kind of weird. These are a filament, such as you can find in the open frame glass or plastic LED bulbs, but there's a discrete component. So the other thing that I thought was odd in these is these are three volt. So they're more applicable to some kind of small project you happen to be running than maybe a 120 volt light setup. Although these are actually two nominally 60 volt, I would assume, LEDs being run, in, strips being run in parallel, uh, series rather, in here, because you can see the, the light uh, power winds up, goes over to two, goes across to the other two, and then down and back out to the return. So they're actually running these at 60 each. So each array is, according to this, dissipating two watts, although I found that to be a little off in the case of these. These seem to be drawing a little more power, which I'm not that surprised by. But anyway, these are listed as three volts, so they should be a little more applicable. I'm assuming what's going on here, given that these are fairly similar actual components, is that these are just tiny, tiny LEDs in a string, and these are probably being run in series in each one of these, just a three volt LED in one long strip that you're gonna be passing three volts down to make up the 100 milliamp. Although I don't know, I, I'm gonna to try to pull one of these apart too to see exactly what's inside it. I, I don't know how far, how far that'll go, but we shall see what we can see inside it. Also, these should be unidirectional because they're an LED diode, so they should refuse to pass voltage if we put them in the wrong direction. Current, rather. Let's see if we can get this to grab. Right, there we go. And, oh, wait, wait. I gotta check the voltage on this before I go and burn it up. Let's see, we want voltage limited at three volts, according to the sheet, or actually, there is no sheet on this, according to the sticker on the bag. Let's, oh, 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 wow. That is, wondering how well this is gonna translate on the video, but uh, that's, that's pretty darn bright. Let me see if I can get a look at that in the dark. Hold on, please. I realized what I was doing wrong almost immediately after shooting that segment when I looked over and saw the 0.3 milliamps, and 0.3 amps rather, and realized it was at 300 milliamps, not 300 watts running at three volts. So I tuned it down to 2.7 volts and at 100 milliamps, it's now the correct brightness for not burning out the LED filament uh, essentially immediately. That's why the other one blows apart fairly quickly. And this is an example of what it looks like. It's a little tough to film, but I think you get the idea. Now let's take apart the LED and see what's inside. You can kind of make out the bumps as I rotate it to make up the LEDs, but let's see if I can get them under the scope and see if the microscope shows anything better. There's the side profile, I think. Let's see if I can rotate those over. It already went off. There we go. There's some LEDs. So it looks like I counted about uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can shift this to the right. Six, seven, eight, nine. So there's about nine, eh, actually there's about nine LEDs on the strip. So there's probably eh, almost 20 LEDs, I would assume, on the entire strip. That's a fair number. Let's zoom in on those and get a little better of a view of the LED itself. And the side profile was interesting because I think they're actually raised. They're just a standard SMD LED package almost. And there's our LEDs scraped clear of their protective coating. On a ceramic surface, I believe, there's the pencil lead and the LEDs in frame at the same time. So those are absolutely tiny, and you can see the covering on them, the glass coating, and the, well, glass or whatever kind of polymer it is, coating on top, and the post and the hammer of the LED itself, the, the anode cathode side showing. 
man, there is not, I, I, I'm always amazed at how small they can get that stuff. Also, I realized I messed up when I was checking these before. I had them driven at 300 milliamps because I just read the three volt on there, put the meter on the DC power supply to three volts, and then completely neglected the fact that it was showing 300 milliamps on the current side instead of 100 milliamps, which is what we wanted. So I current limit it to 100 milliamps and we're showing 2.7 volts. So these aren't really three volts. These are more like 2.7 volts and they run at 100 milliamp. If you run them at three volts, they're gonna be running about three times their rated output likely. And uh, that'll, that'll melt stuff. Although at uh, 100 milliamps, they're, they're pretty good. This isn't getting very, very hot very quickly anyway. So with a bit of ability to dissipate heat, it should be okay, either ambient or I suppose on some kind of non-melty problematic dissipating surface, they'd probably be okay. So I'm pretty happy with these. I'll have to find something to put them in, but they seem like a pretty neat component. Also, if you overdrive them drastically, they will just break apart like that one did. So something to bear in mind. Hopefully that shows you a neat component you can get in and use for some of your own projects. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.